for most players, multi-item sorters are the perfect solution to storage. The flexibility the item whitelisters offer is unmatched by any other type of storage. One could almost make a full storage with multi-item sorter slices if it wasn't for the storage capacity constraints. Another type of cool storage slices that I like are these hybrid ones. The first items coming in are going to go to the chest, and when the chests are full, new items are going to be redirected to a shulker box loader. That's very cool, but here on this channel, every box loader must be accessible. He is too dangerous to be left alive. And so, I wanted to create a storage slice that has the function of a hybrid storage slice and the flexibility of a multi-item storage slice. And this is what I've come up with. This is a 2 white tileable multi item sorter hybrid slice. It has all the cool specs that one could wish for. <coughs> Alright, maybe not the hopper locking part, but trust me, you'll forgive me for that. It's completely bufferless, silent apart from the box swapping. And the UI is just pretty damn good. There's no visible redstone components sticking out apart from these two droppers. I'd say that's perfect. Now I've told you about the specs, but I think I really need to show you what's happening at any time with the machine to truly understand its wonders. Before we even start using the machine, we have a mode selection to do, buffer or smart buffer drainage. If you select the buffer mode when you input items, they're going to go to the three top chests from the bottom to top before they can toggle the box holder, so you have a bunch of items sitting in these hoppers at the back. Now if you select the smart buffer drainage mode, items will first fill the very bottom chest, but then if the flow of items stops before the buffer to the second chest, the buffer will automatically be drained and sent to the box holder. Realistically, it's rather unlikely that you'll reach the two upper chests if you leave the slices in this mode, that is, unless you send stacks of items that will fit into the slice in the input, but you can switch the mode anytime if you want to access all items. You could have the drainage mode only activate after sending all items you needed to input into the storage system, or even disable the smart drainage system on specific slices that you don't think you'll need to access. Maybe the plant slices, for example. Do you really need to access the kelp and cactus at all time? I don't know, your choice. <laughs> now what about the box loader? Is it bufferless too? Yeah, of course. There's no buffered items here, or any full boxes left in these droppers and your full boxes are gonna be sent to the very bottom chest over here. I'll also add that regardless of the mode selection you picked, when the box loader is triggered, it will drain the entire buffer at the back. If you already selected the buffer mode, the buffer is just going to start building up again when you input new items into the slice. So now, all you have to do is to add this slice right under your Mooney Miss or a Cart Miss multi-item sorter. That I believe is the best way to use a multi-item sorter in a storage system. No longer will you fill up your slice instantly with way too many different items. Now you can store everything that's coming in. And as always, with my storage tech designs, you don't need to sacrifice looks for function. I hope this storage slice serves you well. Now drop a like and subscribe or I'm going to melt the ice sheets and make polar bears extinct. If you need the help with anything with this design, make sure to check out the additional video guide on the Potato Crab channel. It's in the video description below. Otherwise, I'm going to create a Discord server where you can ask for help on any of my contraptions or simply see the progress updates of what I'm designing for future videos or maybe just for fun. Because that's way faster than making a video on potato crap. But that's it for today, so thanks for watching. Bye.